And we're back with The Rascal. For those of you that don't know, The Rascal is Go Power Sports uh, in-house designed mini bike kit that's the full size version of the Little Rascal. These things are awesome. It comes with everything you need except for the engine to get you a sweet looking mini bike like this. And what's awesome about Go Power Sports is they've been churning out some new parts for this thing and some custom upgrades. So one of the ones we're going to do today is the front fork upgrade that's going to give us front suspension. Right now there's no suspension. It's great on the street, but off-road you're definitely going to want some suspension so you can save your back in the future. So we'll show you the new parts and we'll get to installing them. Here are those front forks I was just mentioning. You get a nice little spot with these two bolts to put a number plate if you'd like. And you get your wheel bolt, your wheel spacers. So it's all there, ready to go. It shouldn't take very much to get this thing on. As compared to the stock Rascal Forks, uh, it's pretty much the exact same size and everything, just with suspension. Pretty sweet. First things first, he's going to be getting these handlebar clamps off. Just a one half bolt on the bottom, and I'm going to use an adjustable on top when I need to. Loosen those guys up. Just getting that last bolt on these fork clamps off. Oh yeah, you can do like a nice little, what is this, cafe racer style, and then your board track racer style down here. I can dig it. That's a good stance for speed. Out with the new and in with the new the newer <laughs> the only modification you'll need to make to these forks is to drill out this hole where the forks connect to the frame neck and you need to drill it out to one half inch because the bolt does not fit fork bolt on the bottom and your lock nut. Okay. Okay. Man, this looks killer. It kind of matches the uh, army vibes. You know, black and chrome. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. One of the last things to keep everything in place is tightening up these little Allen clamps. Nice and snug. And we'll get those handlebars on, we'll get to see it in its full glory, baby. Now that everything's back together, we got the front suspension on. We're gonna take it for a rip. We're at Daniel's Land. Uh, you might have seen us at his land before testing out things because it's the perfect place to test some off-road capabilities and just to be away from the city. So we'll get this thing started up and we'll see how it does out in the field. Alright guys, so yeah, um, I don't think I could have been doing that those type of flybys with the stock suspension. This is definitely a really big upgrade. Also, 
You know, I hadn't really gotten too much time to drive this thing. Uh, we kind of built it and then went off to school. But the Tillotson 225 on this, it is bone stock, just has a carburetor. It is insane. Like, I mean, y'all saw how fast I'm going. I'm not, I don't even think I'm even close to top end. This thing just rips. It is wild. Kind of scary. That was Dude, a good one. This thing is kind of too fast. Like, I mean, this is like six acres, and uh, yeah, it could it could go further on the road. I mean, you could probably drive this on the highway. It's pretty fast. Yeah, but it's a blast, and um, you know, this engine combination with the bike, lightweight bike, and then the suspension up front. It's actually a really nice bike to drive. It's a blast.